Dear friends, welcome to a traditional Carol of the Bells concert here in St. Clement Danes Royal Air Force Church. This year is the seventh concert to take place in this very special church, and this year it coincides with 100 years anniversary of the independence of Poland. So to mark this occasion, we have over 100 talented performers here today, some of whom travel as far as Italy. This year's concert includes three choirs, a violin ensemble, two solo violinists, three trumpet players, a pianist and an organist. I strongly believe that my beloved father, General Anders, as a Knight of the Sovereign Order of Malta, is a spiritual patron of today's concert and the outstanding work of Polish knights in Great Britain. Unable to accept the invitation of the Association of Polish Knights of Malta UK to attend the Carol of the Bells concert, I would like to extend my warmest greeting and Christmas wishes to all artists and guests. Let the atmosphere of this unique concert turn your thoughts to those who are or were close to your hearts. Bless us this evening, bless this community, and bless this white bread which we will share with others. 
Let this white bread bring us peace and good will to all. Twenty eighteen is a hundred years since the end of First World War, but is also the year of very special significance to Poland and to the Poles throughout the world, it being the centenary of Polish independence. I would like to quote Professor Norman Davis, who recently wrote Poles have been adept at defying the effects of oppression and division, at riding out the political upheavals, and in their darkest days of retreating psychologically into the realms of inner exile. Knowing that storms will pass, they will draw strength and pride from their prowess in the arts, from the depth of their religious beliefs, and from their immense musical talents. The, despite the occasional setback, Poland has once again climbed steadily into the upper echelon of European nations. Bravo, Polska. This historic church of St. Clement Danes, whose foundations go back to the 11th century and whose exterior walls are scarred with the marks of shrapnel from the Blitz, provides the perfect setting in which to celebrate not only our Anglo-Polish Christmas night, but also to mark the continued friendship that exists between the Polish and British peoples. In commemoration of the Polish contribution to the fight for our freedom, and also as a symbol of the continuing importance of Anglo-Polish cooperation and the bond between the British and Polish peoples, I would now like to call upon Dr. Marek Stelosowicki, the President of the Association of Polish Knights of Malta in the UK, to commemorate the pilots and lay a wreath upon the Polish memorial. He will be joined by family members of a pilot of Polish 303 Squadron, Mrs. Anita Meeson and Mr. Anthony Dzewski, relatives of pilot officer Jan Kazimierz Dzewski. The wreath bears the historic, unofficial motto of the Polish armed forces fighting around the world. For your freedom, for our freedom and yours. The wreath and flag of the order are processed by cadets of the Polish Order of Malta. Życie temu. 
lots of old Christmas music from villages in England, and carols once again became popular and loved by all. Siedem lat temu wpadliśmy na pomysł, żeby zorganizować koncert kolęd polsko-angielskich i ten kościół nam w pewnym sensie bardzo się spodobał, bo raz, że jest tablica polskich lotników tutaj, a dwa, powiem taką ciekawostkę, dyrektorem tej kościoła Rafu jest kuzyn Tadzia Jure, mojego przyjaciela, który mieszka w Aqualet w Szopsza. Więc dogadaliśmy się raczej szybko. Od początku Ave Verum, czyli chór z Croydon, brał udział w tych koncertach od samego początku. Potem żeśmy do, zaczęli dołączać solistów, 
No i zajęło nam 7 lat, żebyśmy mieli trzy największe kurie w Londynie, pracowały razem. Co jest również bardzo dobre, że w tym roku udało nam się zaprosić trzech trębaczy z Rzymu, z których jeden jest kawalerem maltańskim. Oni bardzo, bardzo są zadowoleni, że mieli tę możliwość i podejrzewam, że przyjadą znowu w przyszłym roku. Ten program to było 2,5 godziny. Utwory były raczej nie bardzo długie, tylko takie średnio krótkie, co dało możliwość pokazania dużej gamy muzyki, nie tylko kościelnej, nie tylko kolęd, ale również patriotycznej w związku ze stuleciem odzyskania niepodległości. Nie mogę nie wspomnieć Steven Ellery, który dyrygował. Wspaniały człowiek, studiował dyrygenturę w Krakowie, także potrafi krzyczeć na chór po polsku.